It's a new day, a new adventure, the Great Ocean Road, one of the most beautiful drives that you can do in Australia. And I was like, I have to, I have to, I really gotta do it. Ta-da! Got a car over here. And it's it's pretty nice, man. I gotta drive this bad boy. That's gotta be nice. Let's go. Oh my god, yeah. Ooh la la. I just seen a dead kangaroo and all the shit was huge. So this car is automatic. But let me tell you, it's easier to drive it at the manual 100%. I'm going forward. Great ocean road awaits. For like 250 kilometers, I just have to go on the same road, just straight. Guess what? I'm in Victoria. Which way to go? Left or right? I'll go right. Just driving through this big farmland, no cars, no traffic, no nothing, man. I'm having fun. At least no one's talking to me because no one's around me. I haven't seen any kangaroos alive, but there's so many dead ones. I stopped counting after like 25. Sometimes, like, there's one, and then 100 meters later, there's another one, and then 50 meters later, there's another one, and it's just dead kangaroos everywhere. Suicide Skippy dinosaur looking. Deers, and they are attracted by a car going 110 or something. They're like, oh yeah, I want to kiss that. <laughs> oh my God, there's a there's a lot of kangaroos over there. She look, look, look at these. Oh my God, skippies! Look how many of them. Oh, they are jumping and. <laughs> was sick. I can't even believe that this road got a speed limit of 100k. So uneven, rough surface. Yeah, like who goes here with a hundred someone who wants to know how, how is it to fly cows oh my god I think I am already at the ocean so oh shit as the ocean I made it oh my god I'm so happy Bay of Ireland coastal park the animals that they got over here probably none of them will I see because it's uh, about 10 degrees, I think less. I got all my warm clothing on. There's this path you gotta walk through. Curious what's gonna be at the end of this path. Get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And guess what? There's no one around. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. That's amazing. I can't get through here. Not supposed to do this, but who gives a shit, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. Did it worth the drive? 100%. 100% worth the drive. Every little part of it. Yep. So I had this place, the Bay of Islands, all for myself. There was literally no one around. It doesn't get nearly as crowded as some of the bigger Great Ocean Road spots and that's kind of what makes it so cool. Imagine this, towering cliffs, wild coastlines and these insane limestone stacks just popping out of the water. It's like nature's own art gallery with each rock stack looking totally unique, carved out by centuries of wind and waves. Since the Bay of Ireland is a bit off the radar, you pretty much get the whole view to yourself. As, as it just happened to me. You get this quiet laid back vibe that really lets you soak up the raw beauty all around you. And so if I look that way, that way is Antarctica. But you know, the thing is, this is only the first location that I wanted to check out and there are so many more. It's time to go and see some more of the locations and the beautiful nature that this place can offer. I'm so happy right now. So when the sun is out, it's really, really nice, but <laughs> as soon as it's gone, oh, it's chilly. During summer, December, January, this must be a really, really cool swimming location. The water must be cold as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a chance. If today is not a swimming day. The Great Ocean Road is a legendary road trip destination and one of the world's most scenic coastal drives. This 240 km stretch of road in Victoria, Australia, offering non-stop ocean view and dramatic landscape that have been millions of years in the making. The coastline itself is a geological wonder. Some of the limestone rock formations along the road are over 20 million years old. These natural landmarks have been carved out over time by the relentless forces of wind and waves, creating dramatic cliffs, towering rock stacks and mysterious caves. 
So that was Bay of Islands on the Great Ocean Road. It was only the first attraction, the first stop. Breathtaking, it's amazing. I'm so thankful to be here and to be able to do this trip. How beautiful is this? It's called Bay of Martyrs. You know, the thing is that there's so many stops around here. If you would want to go to all of the locations and you would stop every two, three kilometers and you would never reach the end of this road. Anyway, it's so beautiful. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That's the parking lot here. This one here is called the Grotto. The Grotto. Grotto. This is my second language still, so sometimes I pronounce things quite funny. It's a bit of walk, but there's like this really interesting looking rock, cliff, thing in the water. Get out of here. That's so cool. Oh. Let's go down there. <laughs> this is what I love. The natural beauty of the world is so cool. It really reminds me of South Portugal in Lagos. Like they have similar cliffs and stuff. It's magnificent, so beautiful. <laughs> wow. The grotto is a geological marvel. It combines elements of a cave, an archway and a pool all in one. When you look through the natural window of the rock wall, you treat it to an amazing view of the ocean framed perfectly by the limestones. The pool at the base fills with seawater, creating a crystal clear natural mirror that reflects the surrounding rock formation. The grotto was formed by a process called erosion, where the softer parts of the limestones were gradually worn away leaving the unique formation. Unlike the 12 Apostles or other sea stacks nearby, the grotto is a bit more hidden and intimate, giving it a magical, almost secret feel. Okay, it's time to go to the next location. So about 20 kilometers and I will be at the 12 Apostles. That is gonna be so nice. Look at this. This drive is ridiculous how nice it is. Glad I can be here and do this. It's <laughs> so 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 nice. Venomous snakes. Any of my axes are here. <laughs> here is the lookout point. And get out of here. Oh my god. Cooler than I thought it's gonna be. So apparently, there's not 12 of them, only eight. In 2004, there was still nine. Since then, one of them collapsed. So there's only eight hostels here, not 12. These towering limestone stacks arise from the southern ocean, making them a breathtaking highlight of the Great Ocean Road. But here's the catch there were never actually 12. Originally, there were only nine stacks. And today, only eight remain standing due to the constant erosion from winds and waves. All I can say, another bucket list destination checked out. This is a ridiculous, beautiful river. Oh, there's a helicopter tour. Helicopter, helicopter! How beautiful is that? Jesus Christ, this is really a great drive here. So the road takes me right next to the ocean. Oh my God, look at this. It's awesome. Look at this. Get out of here. There you go. Ocean Road. Great Ocean Road. This is it right here. If you like this video, do me a big one and subscribe to the channel. It helps me to grow and deliver more content like this. Thank you so much. Now here's what I would suggest if you plan to do this amazing road trip. Start your trip from east to west from the direction of Melbourne. This direction keeps you on the ocean side of the road, making it easier to pull over and stop at the viewpoints along the way. I did this trip during winter season. I also highly suggest to do this in the summer instead, from November until March. Weather is warm, making it ideal for beach stops, swimming and outdoor activities as well. If you go in summer, start your day early to avoid the biggest crowds. 
but there are gas stations and eateries along the way it's wise to fuel up before leaving especially if you want to avoid the pricier tourist spots with these tips you're all set for a fantastic great ocean road adventure just remember take it slow and enjoy the journey as much as the destination thanks for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one